Hey guys, a frequent misconception I hear about TMS is that it is the same or similar to another treatment for depression called ECT or electroconvulsive therapy, sometimes referred to as shock therapy. The truth is, while there are some similarities, there are vast and very important and really cool differences, and I'm going to talk more about that coming up. Hey guys, my name is Dr. Julia Swafford. This is Real Talk Mental Health in Vancouver, Washington, where we talk about real life mental health issues from the provider's perspective. Let's dive into the differences between TMS and ECT. Ultimately, it's the difference in the technology used in TMS compared to ECT that creates the vital space for TMS in the first place. Bottom line, TMS does not use electricity at all. There are no seizures or anesthesia used or needed in TMS like there are in ECT. But the similarities and differences between the two treatments really deserves a thorough discussion. So first, we need to all remember that the brain, and every other organ and cell in our body for that matter, runs on electricity in the first place. So the idea that we could treat, feasibly treat depression using electricity to get neurons firing again isn't so far-fetched. That is essentially what ECT is, and it works. The treatment is still very commonly used, um, and it's really effective for people who need it. The process has come a long way from what you may see or have seen in TV shows and movies. Uh, still, ECT is considered a very invasive treatment, and because a seizure is induced, memory loss is a frequent side effect. In ECT, electricity is applied directly to the head to get to the brain to stimulate neurons, but of course, our handy dandy skull is designed to protect us against that kind of thing. So like if you stuck your fork in an electric socket, it's not gonna restart your brain. That's usually good. But in ECT, we want to get to the brain. So we have to crank up or dial up the electricity pretty high in order to get past the skull. And that process causes a seizure. That difference in technology in TMS is where we find the most important different between, uh, difference between these two treatments. TMS uses a magnetic pulse which passes right through the skull, no problem, hence the word transcranial. Uh, once through the skull, the repetitive magnet creates an electromagnetic field, based on physics, to stimulate neurons and get them firing again. This creates a benefit that's pretty similar to the results of ECT, but in TMS, we can use a very low dose. In fact, we can use the very lowest amount of power that it actually takes to get neurons firing, rather than having to use the amount of power it takes to get past the skull, like an ECT. In TMS, we use this physics principle of using a magnetic pulse that can go right through the cranium to create an electromagnetic field so that we can simply stimulate an action potential rather than having to ramp up to get past the skull to achieve the same firing. That's why when we hear that TMS is non-invasive and it's safe, that's really true. TMS is actually less invasive than taking medications because it literally just affects less of what we don't need and only the parts we do need. Pretty cool, right? If this is something that you're interested in, if you think TMS could be a good option for you to treat your depression or another condition, and if you live in the Portland, Oregon area or Vancouver, Washington, please reach out to us at TMS Northwest. We would love to help you and be part of your treatment team. If you're not in our area, please reach out to your local mental health professional to see where you can be referred to a TMS clinic uh, to see if that's appropriate for you and to get started. Um, and as always, you guys, if this is content that you like, that you're interested in, that helps you, please keep watching us. We are always coming out with new episodes about stuff that we think is relevant in this field. Uh, click the, the subscription button and the notification button below to see our next video. Thank you.